one. Okay, charging ram is one of our tackle techniques. So at green belt level and below, whenever you hear, hear the term ram, it refers to tackle. Okay, so like the head is down like a ram and they're shooting for our legs. Um, I actually did charging ram one time in a ring on someone with very limited rules and I even had the gloves on and it was pleasantly surprised how well it worked. It's a, it's a non-momentum tackle, meaning that uh, like I'm, I'm like intercepting the ram where the person comes in, they have more momentum and you kind of hit them and go for the ride. This is maybe they're a lot closer to you. Maybe you shove me in and shot for the leg, something like that. I'm gonna do it on this angle. So I'm gonna start this in a right neutral bow. And I would say at the beginning, one of the more common mistakes is the hands like traveling from not from point of origin. You wanna make sure you move from point of origin. He's coming in this way for the low tackle to be yeah, this. So right from that position, my left hand is going to clear the outside of Matt's left elbow. And as I do, I move up to three, and I hand sword. And I slide back, and I kick his ribs, and I kick his face. I notice he's not done. This is brutal, I'm gonna be gentle. I roundhouse kick to the back of his knee and throw him in the twist. I side kick his other knee, and I scoop his groin from behind. So I'm in his blind zone, okay? So we're gonna try this again. I'm, I'm in my neutral. Maybe he, I see he's kind of bending forward. He comes in, get the chopping, and block the ribs, and the face. Oh, kick his knee. Side kick his other knee, look at the scoop. Pop, right up underneath the groin. Okay, I'll do it one more time, charging ram. So I start from my neutral, my left hand, Moves from point of origin. I get my chopping. And I get off this kick and side kick. And I scoop the groin. And I end it. Now, this is also a nice technique, charging ram, to do as a change up from five swords. So the definition of a change up in tempo is starting one technique but then finishing with another. So maybe I'll do the same angle, Matt. So Matt has his left foot forward, and if you know five swords, it's a step through hook. Right, so maybe I start five swords, and then you hit him, like uppercut, and he comes back in, and deep, deep, get my kicks, and then I kick his leg, deep, scoop his groin. So I started with five swords, and as he came back in after the uppercut, assuming he's not just standing there, I flew, I, flew, I grafted right into charging rim.